Well, across the state, ho children's hospitals continue to see high numbers of kids infected with the virus. This week, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's COVID-19 numbers appear to have dropped, but the system's top doctors urge parents not to let their guards down. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more. For the last five weeks, more than 200,000 children a week have been diagnosed with COVID-19, fueling a rise in hospitalizations that's been tied to the much more contagious Delta variant. When two-year-old Mahogany Heard of Fairburn ended up hospitalized here at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Eggleston earlier this month with a severe case of an inflammatory syndrome linked to COVID-19, her mom, Shamika, was stunned. She says she had no idea Mahogany, the youngest of her seven children, had ever been exposed to the virus. My theory is if she's had COVID, that means my entire house have had COVID. Almost 2,000 Georgia children have been hospitalized with COVID-19 so far in the pandemic. And right now, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta has about 30 kids hospitalized with the virus, about 5% of their total number of inpatients. Children's Health Care's Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Jim Fortenberry, says the highly contagious Delta variant has also led to a big jump in emergency and urgent care visits. I think it is in some part a numbers game in that more children are getting infected and so more children are likely to have significant symptoms. We don't know if there's something about the Delta variant that affects kids differently, but we're definitely seeing more. Only teens and tweens 12 and older are now eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine. And Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Dr. Andy Shane, a pediatric infectious disease specialist, says their sickest patients tend to be teenagers who are old enough to be vaccinated but are not. Many of them have been overweight and have had asthma as underlying medical conditions. But I think, you know, the one thing that I really want to emphasize with this virus is that even though we have some idea of who may have a more severe infection, this virus still can affect a very healthy child in the same way that it could affect a child with underlying medical conditions. And Dr. Fortenberry and Dr. Shane are recommending that parents of children 12 and older get them vaccinated as soon as possible. If you have a younger child not eligible for the vaccine yet, they say try to make sure all of the adults and eligible people around them are vaccinated to form a circle of protection around them. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.